Hey you guys, how's it going? So uh, today I am going to do a first impression let's play a review of a game called uh, game's name Silence of the Siren. I had to move a window to see that name. Um, as always I'm gonna be playing the game for an hour or more until I am satisfied that I can give you my opinion on the game and tell you whether or not in my opinion the game is worth $30. You can if you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full video you can just skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video. I will put a timestamp in the description below and in the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will just quickly tell you what i think is good and bad about the game and basically my summary on whether or not i can recommend the game but if you are not in a hurry you can just stay tuned and i will be playing through the game today and i will be giving you my running commentary as i play through the game today so uh, the game's name is Silence of the Siren. The devs sent me a code for the game and uh, today we are going to be checking it out. It's 30 dollars or 30 euros, which is basically 33 dollars. But anyway, uh, that is quite a lot for a indie game. So today we are going to be seeing if the game can be worth it, obviously. If you think about other games that are similar to this game, then immediately you are going to be looking at something like Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, the last good Heroes of Might and Magic game that was made was Heroes of Might and Magic 5 back in 2006. All of the Heroes of, of Might and Magic's after number 5 are just really bad. I wouldn't uh, play those. Otherwise than that, they are actually making a new one. They're planning on releasing a new Years of Might and Magic, which is coming out in quarter of 2025, the second quarter. Um, so I will be checking that out. It's unfortunately made by Ubisoft, so I will probably be pirating it just because they do not deserve any support. Otherwise in that Euros Hour I have played and reviewed before, I did not recommend it um, for multiple reasons. You can watch my video or you can check out my review on Steam if you don't have the attention span for an hour or longer video. But this is another game that is very similar to Years of Might and Magic, it's just this one I can't recommend. One that I can recommend, which I also have done a review on about two years ago, in fact more than two years ago I did the review on this one, which is Songs of Conquest. And I did review this one, and it actually did release um, not too long ago, so perhaps I should check this game out again, because I played it back like two years ago when the game was still in early access, so now that they have actually released um, the game, fully released the game, uh, I might have to check it out again. But this was a game that I did recommend. Um, it's not the best game on earth. My opinion on the game basically two years ago was that I really like the animations, um, but there were a couple of issues. I mean, you can just read my review or you can go check out my um my video review as well uh if you uh want to um but those are the games that this game is competing against this game actually costs 30 euro as well and for this game i i would recommend it for 30 euro um it's a little bit much you know 30 euro for this game is a little bit much but um, yeah, I can, I can recommend the game uh, for that price. Um, it's just not a, not a particularly good price, especially when you consider that you can pretty much get Years of Might and Magic 3, 4 and 5 for that price. So um, yeah, if you, if you can get the older Years of Might and Magic games on sale, 
I would rather play those, all of those, than pay 30 euro for this game or even for this game. But anyway, today we will be seeing if this game can be worth 30 dollars or 30 euros uh, or not. The game is still in early access, so take note of that. Um, but yeah, as I always say, uh when i review a game i review the game doesn't matter if it's an early access game or not it has to be worth the asking price if they are asking 30 euro then the game has to be worth 30 euro i don't care that the game is in early access if they are asking a price then that game has to be worth that price doesn't matter if it's going to be better in the future or whatever um, the game has to be worth that price today. I don't give two shits about the future or any content that they have planned in the future. So, um, yeah, we're going to be checking out the settings firstly. Um, the only real issues that I see here is that you cannot change the uh, window. Like, I... I don't see anywhere where you can change the window like i don't know if you guys see it then you can tell me in the comments below but this game seems to not have any way to change your window so uh borderless full screen full screen windowed borderless window it doesn't have any of those options so that's really crazy like how can they release a game that you can't even change the window like that's pretty fucking insane so um the game by default runs in borderless full screen mode so that's literally the only choice you have in fact it's not even a choice it, it's just the default and you cannot change the default at all so that's a really bad you can't play the game in a window you can't play the game full screen nothing like that so that's pretty insane otherwise than that the options are really really basic they have basically shadows you can turn shadows on or off and then you can change the texture quality and the terrain quality from low to high that's literally all of the graphical options that you have the game has no other graphical options like uh, character detail object detail draw distance anti-aliasing nothing like that so um, the game is missing quite a lot of different uh graphical options quite a lot and like i said obviously you can't even change the fucking screen window which is really bloody hilarious um anyway that's pretty much all issues that i see here so we can pretty much jump into the game uh let's do campaign there's also skirmish and I think the game has PvP as well, uh, but uh, we're just going to do the, the campaign, I, I guess. Depends how good the campaign is. Normally on these games, I like to um, do the skirmish. Like with Years of Might and Magic, I like to do a skirmish. A really, really long skirmish. But anyway, let's check out the campaign, I guess. Okay, the game doesn't have um, voice acting, apparently, so I guess we are going to be doing a lot of reading. Uh, P P Pen Penal Legion? Penal Legion? That's rock bottom. F ferret? F ferret? Ferret? Not so long, Sniff, the supreme leader promised to liberate all volunteers. But until then, you are less than a rattling dropping and you will address me as sir 
Now listen carefully, a sizable group of hostile cyberbugs is digging in the ruins to the southeast. Activate the radio beacon there and we will fry them from the orbit. But my escort is too small for such a task. The Vanguard has established a base down south and fresh troops are waiting for you at a couple at a couple of dozen rally points now go and remember this is a covert operation we cannot risk full-scale war with cyberbugs yet okay so are we gonna get the tutorial No tutorial, is that what you're telling me? Okay, so no tutorial I guess. Well, um, I know how to play these games. I've played all of the games from uh, Years of, of Might and Magic 1 all the way through to the dog shit Years of Might and Magic versions. So I know how to play these games, but the fact that the game doesn't have a tutorial is definitely going to be a black mark against the game. Uh, you can also keep the data fragment for later use or sell it for 500 coins. Use it immediately. Using it immediately gives 250 bonus XP. So you can choose experience or selling it. If you press Alt, you highlight stuff. That's pretty standard in these games. I'm not going to read this stuff. Uh, if the developers don't want to add voice acting to their game, then I'm not going to bother following the um, story of the game. For a, for a $30 game, I would definitely expect um voice acting in the game it's fucking 30 dollars so um if they're not gonna put voice acting in the game then i don't care about the story who's an attribute to level up increases the number of movement points and also improves the commander's visibility each point of combat increases the defense and damage of your units Leveling up ability strength increases the commander's energy and makes their abilities more powerful. Improves your unit's damage. Allows you to position this commander's army at the beginning of the battle. Reduce penalty for moving through rough terrain. Shows trails on your enemies. This commander is ignored by primal turrets and other defenses. Uh, let's take Chase Master. It's a pretty bloody good ability to have at least one um, one skill in. That's an enemy. Okay, I'm out of movement points, so I have to end turn. So 
so what are these guys you can right click on them to inspect them once again that's not covered in the tutorial you just have to know how to play this game uh hp pool are they melee or okay so they can jump i'm assuming they're melee it doesn't say anywhere from what i can see ah there we go okay so it says over there you have to figure out all of the shit on your own so this guy is melee melee meat boy melee ranged what's your range doesn't really say what the range is unless i'm blind how can it not say what the range is okay so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh stonewall them Which one has the most health? 18, What the hell? Okay. No idea what that did. Why is this sound so bloody loud? Big balls. Sound is hilariously loud way louder than what the music is okay so they are a little bit in range yes we can attack What the hell? What does this thing do? It shoots a torpedo which explodes at the end of the round. Okay, that's fucking stupid. But at least it doesn't do any friendly friendly fire. I think honestly I'm gonna restart and just do a uh, um, do a skirmish. Also, why does it show 4K resolution again? I didn't select that. I selected 2K resolution. So why didn't it? 
why didn't it stay? Yeah, let's just do a skirmish, I think. So they don't even show you your map. I want to be able to see the map. You you should be shown the map in these ones. What's this? Like holy shit, they don't show you the map on any of these. What the holy balls? How are you supposed to make a educated guess or an educated decision on which map you you're gonna enjoy and obviously the maps have to have different sizes as well also can't even change the the computers you can't remove the computers how fucking stupid is that so you can't even change the amount of players that are going to be in the game that is so idiotic Look at that, you, you can't remove, you can't remove a player, it either has to be a human or a computer. Oh, that's really fucking stupid. How can they not allow you to choose whether or not you want to play with bots or not? The stupidest shit ever. Also, they don't give you any information regarding the the race. I'm assuming this is the race that you're going to play. So, like, they don't give you any information. There's the Sovereign Fleet, Fossarians, Children of the Source. Are those the only three? Yeah, it seems those are the only three races, but they don't even give you any information regarding any of them. How stupid is that? So, I don't know, let's, let's take this one, I guess. Also, with the difficulty, they don't even tell you what changes with the difficulty. So, they don't give you any information whatsoever. Um, like, are the enemies, like, what advantage do they have? Do they have more health? Do they have more um, resources? Are they simply smarter, more intelligent? Like, they don't give you any fucking information. How are you supposed to make any decisions? Fucking hell, seriously. It just seems a really, really low effort. And obviously, once again, um, no tutorial at all. This map doesn't seem very big. Like, seriously, it's like... 
maybe one screen, two screen, three screens in size. That's a very, very small map. How can the map be so small? So I chose that one. Let's try this one. Yeah, this map is way bigger. Look at that. This map is way bigger. Like, that's my point. Why don't they show you the map? How can they not fucking show you the map you're going to play on? It's so idiotic. How do I view my city? Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is the city interface. It's very, very standard in uh, Heroes of Might and Magic type games. So you can hire additional commanders. I think we should hire an additional commander. I can't even see the I'm I'm left clicking right clicking like you can't even see the army that your guy is going to have how fucking idiotic is that how can they not allow you to see the army seriously this game has a massive amount of missing quality of life features Oh, those are, up, are upgraded. Okay. This one is ranged. The units get hit at the end of the round. That's really, really weird. How the fuck am I supposed to understand any of this game without the tutorial? I'm assuming you can only build one thing per day. Yes, it's exactly like Years of Might and Magic. You can only build one thing per day. Okay, well that's fine. So, you... Um, I'm not sure if you can do a multiple attack. In some of these games, you can do a multiple attack. What's that? Oh, then you can transfer stuff if you want to. Uh, we're going to use one 
big force. So these guys are ranged. Five damage, five damage. Are these guys ranged as well? Oh shit, they are ranged. So that one can only shoot once, the other one can shoot twice. I don't know if this one will be able to jump over there. Can I... Can I see? Move. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it won't be able to reach over there. Okay, no losses. That's good. Allows the commander the ability to learn new abilities at the beginning of each cycle and gives a chance to learn abilities used in combat from an artifact. Commander can learn a random ability up to level 1 each phase. 10% chance to learn a random ability used in combat or from an item. Okay, that seems interesting.
we can increase the limer right that we get Yes, that's pretty good. Then we can move with this guy. We can run around and pick stuff up. That's pretty much it. The game actually uses a lot of bloody processing power. Right now the game is pulling uh, 220 watts of power usage. That's that's quite a lot actually. I mean for a game like this, the game doesn't look particularly good, you know. It mostly looks like static uh, images that are moving, you know, like that kind of still image animation thing that has been so popular in the past couple of years. It really looks like still images, so I don't know how a game like this can pull 220 watts of power. But, uh, okay, in any way, I guess anything is possible. Quickly see what upgrades we can get at the base. Like, even the movement in the game, like, it's literally just a, a still image, actually, that is 
moving. You know, it reminds me of the the old Years of Might and Magic games. Literally just a horse, you know, if you if you've played those games. Um, it's literally just a horse picking up its leg and then moving like it's a still image moving uh, and uh, for a game to be that lazy uh, and then also charging 30 euro is a little bit insane like seriously i i don't have an issue with with that this style but then you cannot ask 30 euro for the game because it essentially doesn't have animations it's essentially a game that uses still images and then you have the audacity to ask 30 euro for it it's the same issue that i had with uh, um uh, frost frostpunk 2 which i reviewed recently they have the audacity to ask 45 fucking euro for the game but the game doesn't have voice acting and the game uses still images the same as what this game does at least this game doesn't have the audacity to ask 45 euro oh that seems very good We can try this one. Or do we first want to get this over here? What the hell is energy? Not really anything else in the area that I can see that we can really collect. I can't collect that. You can pretty much just go stand over there. So I need five bio in or in order to build that one Even all of this, this is really low low effort, you know. I mean, it's the same as Yodas of Might and Magic 4 and 5 and those types of games, but those games are almost 20 years old. Like, Yodas of Might and Magic 5 is 18 years old. So, the fact that this game is doing exactly the same as what a... 18 year old game has done already with the still animations and um the movement all of that kind of stuff um you can't go 18 years 
and then still charge 30 euro for the game it's it's simply too outdated you're you're asking too much uh for all technology essentially why can't i save why can't i save What the hell? Why? Why can't I n name the f the save what I want? Oh, spaces. You don't like spaces. Okay, that's fucking stupid. But anyway, fucking can't even have spaces in the name of the th of the thing. Um. So let's uh, try this battle. So you fight against your own army or a random army but you don't lose you won't lose your units so that should be relatively easy the first obviously we take out the ranged motherfuckers they have basically the same idea doing exactly the same as what I am doing now it will just really come down to who can do it better wasn't super smart of you now I'm gonna get the first hit on you Unfortunately, their guys are gonna die before my guys because my guys are first in the uh, queue, so that's good at least.
Oh, okay. So the the projectiles don't end once the enemy is dead. The projectiles actually continue, which I I guess makes sense. I mean that's that's relatively logical, I guess. Okay, and now I should even be able to give my army to this guy and have him do the battle as well. If I, I f if I want to earn 900 and whatever experience with him as well. Uh, if I want to be 100% efficient, then that is what I would do. But honestly, um, I don't care too much. It would actually be interesting. Like, you, you could win that battle by just giving yourself ranged units and then you just shoot the enemies before they shoot you kind of thing, you know? You can literally give yourself one one archer or something like that and then you just hope that you can kill the enemy before the enemy can kill you you know and then you would get free experience even though i'm pretty sure the experience will will increase based on the amount of enemies that you kill you know so it's not just like free free shit Okay, so I can't get those. I really need those biomasses. So I have to fight this guy before I can get the biomass. I can go around the left side. What, can't I go over there? They know apparently not. So I have to go around that side. Um, what can I build? I don't really need the space bar. See, that's very low effort. Like, it is extremely low effort. Like, honestly, guys, I really don't think I need to play any more of the game. The game has already proved that it is just a low effort game. Now, uh, if you compare this game to um, Years of Might and Magic, uh, it's exactly the same. It uses the same still image type 
animation which you would find in Heroes of Might and Magic uh, 3 and 4 and even like I think let's quickly have a look I think even in 5 yeah, like even if you look at 5 even Heroes of Might and Magic 5 doesn't have the still animation you can see it uses actually good quality animations i think this is one of the first years of might and magic games that actually used pretty good quality animations for the game uh, the ones before that definitely did use the older uh, style of animation um, so if we look at Years of Might and Magic 3 or 4, um, okay, they have 3 uh, HD, which isn't the original one, but if we look over here, you can see this is number 3, very good game, it's, it's outdated, but it's a very good game, and number 3 uses the still image type. So basically everything is still imaged with a little bit of animations. And then Years of Might and Magic 4 is the same. 5 was the first one that didn't use this type of still, still animation. I would honestly rather play this game again. Just because it's high quality still animations. And this game honestly just doesn't have high quality still animations even euro hour which uses um uh pixel pixel art basically pixel um graphics uh, has a better art aesthetic and a graphical appeal than what um this game has and i mean it's very basic but at least it's animated well and then I won't even compare it to Songs of Conquest because uh, one of the things that I brought up in my review of Songs of Conquest two years ago was the amazing quality of the uh, art. The graphics and the art are just really really good really 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 good it's it's pixel um art pixel graphics but it's bloody good quality like seriously it is fantastic quality i'm not sure if the game will show you a little bit of the movement but it is a really high quality um graphics so it's not even still animation it's like pixel animation and it is far superior to um what uh silence of the siren offers and this game is also 30 euro so honestly i would much rather play this game again than play another second of uh silence of the siren you know and i mean that's not even to compare it against um years of might and magic 5 which like i say years of might and magic 5 when did that come out i think 2006 i think it was 2006 yep it was 2006 so you can see there that even a 18 year old game as better animations than what silence of a siren has and that really should be all that i need to say about the game you know the fact that an 18 year old game can have better animations than what this game does like when you move around it's just static it's literally a static image that moves around which is fine for the older games like Years of Might and Magic 3 and 4, but those games are 20 years old, you know? And that would be fine if you weren't asking 30 euro for the game. The fact that the, these developers are asking 30 euro for the game is really, really crazy. So, um, 
really that coupled with the fact that it's literally the same as Heroes of Might and Magic 3 or 4, um, which are 20 years or 20 year old games, it's still exactly the same. The game doesn't even have a tutorial, it doesn't have voice acting, you can't even change the window of the game, you are forced to play the game in uh, borderless full screen mode so the game cannot be played in full screen it cannot be played in windowed mode uh, borderless windowed mode it can't be played in any of those modes um, there's just so many corners that are being cut in the game and yet they're asking 30 dollars for the game or 30 euro which is like 33 dollars and the game is so so much like Heroes of Might and Magic um, 3 and 4 and 5 that I was able to play the game totally fine. I knew exactly what to do, even though the game doesn't have a tutorial. So the game is literally so similar to a 20 year old game that I didn't even need the tutor uh, tutorial. I knew exactly what was going on. Um, but still, the fact that the game doesn't have a tutorial is really, really just lazy. And then obviously, like I said, on top of that, still image animation, no dialogue. Um, it's just not worthy of a 30 euro price tag. Um, so if you are looking to spend 30 euro on a game like this, then I can definitely recommend um, Songs of Conquest to you guys, definitely. It is a game that I can definitely recommend. Um, it's not the best game on the planet of this type, but it is very good. It is miles ahead of um, this game. Um, I mean, just look at that. The, 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 the quality of the pixel art in this game is something that really really impressed me so quite honestly um i should probably check this game out again because like i said my review that i did is two years old so the game released a couple of months ago so i should definitely do a follow-up review on this game because i did like it um the art was was supremely impressive it was really really impressive and um yeah overall i really like the game it's just the attack of opportunity uh, system in the game that was bad um uh, it, it didn't function logically the way that a attack of opportunity system should function and then also the fact that your army was limited um you literally couldn't carry around the army that you wanted to carry around your army was limited the amount of army that you can carry around is limited which is really really uh stupid those two things are two of the reasons why i gave the game a borderline recommendation uh, two years ago so i hope that they fixed those things i hope so but even if they didn't fix those things i would still recommend songs of conquest over um the silence of the siren like seriously now this game is obviously still in early access it could improve you know but as i always say i can only evaluate and review the game based on what it is currently and based on what it currently offers and um, based on what it currently offers i seriously cannot recommend this game for 30 euro i would much rather recommend uh, songs of conquest so or even the older older um Heroes of Might and Magic games, like the, the uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3, 4 or 5, I would recommend over this game. I wouldn't recommend Heroes of Might and Magic 6 or 7 or anything after that, because those are dog shit. But, um, yeah, I can definitely recommend the older Heroes of Might and Magic games over this one. And 
that should really be all that you need to know about this game. The fact that I can recommend a 20 year old Heroes of Might and Magic game over this game, and those games are much cheaper than this game, that should tell you everything that you need to know about this game's current state. So, yeah, I, I can't recommend the game. Not for 30 euro currently. I will check the game out again in the future. But honestly, unless the developers improve the animation system and add voice dialogue to the game and at least fucking allow you to change your green display mode you know basic fucking things like that unless the developers do that those things then there's no way how i would be able to recommend this game in the future um so yeah guys that's pretty much it um i actually am going to update my um songs of conquest game on steam and then review that game again i think in the next week or so because um that game i definitely want to play that game more and uh, it's pretty cool that it has now finally released after, after two years. Um, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, as always, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash LFP. It allows me to do more reviews for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.